BestBookBits.com presents 50 Words to Your Dreams, Chapter 3, Desire. Do you want to know how to manifest your dreams? Do you want to know the simple, straightforward, no bullshit path to take your dream out of your head into reality? This 50 chapter video series titled 50 Words to Your Dreams has the answers. Researched for over 10 years and compiled into video, written and audio format for easy consumption. This series will empower you with the know-how and the tools you need to manifest your dreams into reality. Created by Michael George Knight, the man behind the website bestbookbits.com and the YouTube channel Best Book Bits. This series is a wealth of knowledge condensed down into 50 bite-sized pieces. So without further ado, I bring you chapter 3 of 50 of the series, 50 Words to Your Dreams, Desire. In the previous two chapters, we discussed dreams and passion. So by now, you should have your dreams and passion out of your head written down. If not, stop and revisit chapter 1 and 2 now before you begin this chapter on desire. What is desire? The dictionary defines desire as a strong feeling of wanting to have something or wishing for something to happen. The key words that stand out are feelings, wanting, and wishing. We as human beings are programmed to feel, want, and wish. It's what makes us human. From the moment of birth, the child has a desire for the breath of oxygen to the moment of death when the desire for breath is strong again. Our feelings, wanting, and wishes change through the course of our life as we age, grow, and mature. What you wanted as a child was different than what you wanted as a teenager, and what you will want 20 years from now will be different than what you want right now. This is understandable as all desires are makings of the mind. Decide on your desires. Did you ever sit down and make a list of everything you wanted? Earl Nightingale. What I want you to do is open your mind up and pour your desires out on paper. Buy an exercise book or a journal, open an Excel spreadsheet, grab some paper, anything you can find to get your desires out of your head and in the written word. This simple exercise will not only help you get clarity on what you desire, but will also kickstart your imagination to start thinking of new desires that you never thought about. To start the ball rolling and get you thinking, I have five below categories I want you to think about and write down what you want to achieve in those areas of life. Take the time and really do this exercise. It will save you years of running around in circles. Number one is health. Two, relationships. Three, success and achievement. Four is wealth. And five is material things or experiences. Now with a list of desires you wrote down for each category, combine them into one sentence for each category for you to be able to read. When finished the task, you should have five sentences which make up your desires in one paragraph. Do your desires blend in with your dreams and passions? Do your desires blend in with your dreams and passions? You should start to see a pattern emerging of the path you are on and the direction of where your life is going. What you are doing is creating a blueprint of your current desires, dreams and aspirations you seek. You only desire things that you don't have. You only desire things that you don't have. If you had them, you wouldn't desire them. Most desires come from a feeling of lack, either wanting a certain thing or to feel a certain way. We all desire, but what makes us all different is we all desire different things at different times. What you desired in the past is not what you desire in the present, and what you desire for in the present is not something you will desire in the future. And on and on it goes. I want you to move past the egoic desires for a moment, like what do I want, and see if you have a desire in you of something the world needs. What can you do that moves the needle forward for humanity? Do you have an altruistic desire? Can you do something with your life to make the world a better place? If yes, write it down and become clear on what it is. For if you are clear about what you want, the world responds with clarity. Plan Think, act. A plan for your desires. Now that you've completed the first step in getting your desires out of your head, the next logical step is to create a plan of action. First, compile a list, preferably in a journal, of your desires you outlined earlier. Write that long list. Now order the list from the most important to the not so important. Don't order your desires from the small to the big or from the easiest to the hardest to achieve. Instead, Order from what is the most important things you desire to the least important. 
write out what your top five desires are. These desires should be huge, hard to reach, out of your comfort zone, and scary all in one. If they are not, you are not thinking big enough or far enough into the future. Do it now. Now with your top five desires you have, open up a new page in your journal and write them out in the order of time to achieve by. In the order of time to achieve by. Having the first desire being the quickest to achieve by the last being the longest time to achieve. What you want to do is chunk down each desire into bite-sized action steps you can take. Daily small actions repeated over and over compound into your desires being manifested in reality. You should now start to see an outline of the direction of your desires and life. Now take a moment to shut your eyes and vividly picture in your mind all of your desires coming true and living that moment a time in the future. Shut your eyes and do this for 20 seconds. What does it look like and how does it feel? What does it look like and how does it feel? Now open your eyes and realize that from where you are now to where your imagination took you, the only person stopping you achieving what you want is you. You and you alone. When I say you, I mean your thoughts, habits, attitudes, beliefs, knowledge, and actions. Get out of your own way and start today, right now, to make a plan of the life you want. Be different, be extraordinary, be the best version of you, not the average substandard version of your past. The power of thought. Now that you've completed the exercise of taking your desires from your head and into concrete plans for your life, the next step in realizing your desires is the power of thought. You see, the most powerful force you possess is the power of your thoughts. Your thoughts can either control you or you can control your thoughts. Actualized people understand this concept of harnessing their inner power of thought to externally manifest the desires they wish. By getting your mind into emotional harmony with your desire, you start the process of turning the invisible into visible. See it in your mind, your desires as fact, and daily think about that which you desire, and you will create the mental state of bringing yourself to action. By practicing the art of directing your thoughts on what you want instead of what you don't want, you in turn are programming yourself to success. You see, your conscious mind is the thinking part of your mind which can accept, reject, and originate ideas. With repetition and emotion, thoughts of desires are passed on to the subconscious mind, which accepts all information impressed upon it as fact. Knowing now that you choose your thoughts, that then cause your feelings, which cause your actions. You want to start to deliberately program in your mind with the thoughts of your dreams and desires so it can propel you to action. Desire to action. By now you know your desires, you have a plan, and you understand the power of your thoughts. But all this is utterly useless unless you take the next step in the process, action. Action is the name of the game. It completes a simple three-step formula. Plan, think, and act. Acting without planning and thinking is careless, but planning and thinking without acting is useless. Don't get caught in the trap of mistaking planning and thinking for action. Don't get caught in the trap of mistaking planning and thinking for action. Only execution of plans and thoughts have any real effect. First plan, yes, then think, yes, but then take daily incremental small actions to manifest the desires you want. Using the law of compounding action, the effects of sequentially adding or more accurately multiplying the impact of growth on top of previous impact of growth, you can move mountains. You live your life moment to moment, and so you build your life action to action. Make small, measurable progress daily on the things you desire, and put the law of compounding to your favor. Motivational quotes on desire. A human being has a natural desire to have more of a good thing than he needs. Mark Twain. All great achievements begin with you deciding what it is you really want and then dedicating yourself wholeheartedly to attaining it. Brian Tracy All men are burdened with more desires than they can gratify. George Clayson Be clear about what you want and then have the faith that it will come. Florence Scoville Shin Be obsessed about the things you want, otherwise you're going to spend a lifetime being obsessed 
with making up excuses as to why you didn't get the life you wanted. Grant Cardone. Be aware of what you want, for you will get it. Emerson. By passing onto your subconscious mind any desire which you wish translated into its physical or monetary equivalent in a state of expectancy or belief that the transmutation will actually take place. Your belief or faith is the element which determines the action of your subconscious mind. Napoleon Hill Desire and persistence mark you out from the rest. Desire and persistence mark you out from the rest. Zig Ziglar Desire connects you with the thing you desire, and expectation draws it into your life. Bob Proctor Desire is a hunger for learning, advancement, or improvement of your lot in life in any arena. Desire can be physical, spiritual, mental, or relational. In whatever area desire occurs, it brings with it energy and aliveness. Dexter Yeager Desire is pure potentiality seeking manifestation. Desire is pure potentiality seeking manifestation. Deepak Chopra Desire is the effort of the unexpressed possibility within seeking expression through your action. Wallace D. Waddles Desire is the quest of an object before it is attained. Buddhism Desire is the starting point of all achievement, not a hope, not a wish, but a keen pulsating desire which transcends everything. Napoleon Hill Desire is the unexpressed possibility of an idea wishing to be expressed. Bob Proctor Desire without expectation is nothing but wishful thinking. Bob Proctor Desires must be simple and definite. They defeat their own purpose should there be too many, too confusing, or beyond a man's training to accomplish. George Clayson Develop desire, intense burning desire. This is the motivational force that enables you to overcome the fear and inertia that holds most people back. Brian Tracy Everyone has been made for some particular work, and the desire for the work has been put in every heart. Rumi Everything man creates or requires begins in the form of desire. Napoleon Hill Everything we have in the modern world is the result of desire. Cord M. Bristol Frame your desires and goals in positive terms. Don't live by failure avoidance. Live by success encounters. Dennis Waitley Give up deceptive desires. When you have a desire, either back it up with action or let it go. To believe you want something you're not doing anything to achieve is actually deceptive. Dexter Yeager I believe in the power of desire backed by faith because I've seen this power lift men from lonely beginnings to places of power and wealth. Napoleon Hill I decided that if I was to achieve what I desired, time and study would be required. Time and study would be required. George Clayson I trust the universal intelligence that creates me to bring my desires to me in just the right way at the perfect time. Wayne Dyer If you know what you want, you can find a way to get it. W. Clement Stone Intent weaves a tapestry of the universe. Deepak Chopra It is a psychological law that whatever we desire to accomplish, we must impress upon the subjective or subconscious mind. Orson Sweet Maiden it's all a matter of what you instruct yourself to really want, Tom Hopkins. Know what your outcome is to find precisely what you want. The second step is to take action. Otherwise, your desires will always be dreams. You must take the type of actions you believe will create the greatest probability of producing the result you desire. Anthony Robbins Man is his desire. Aristotle Man is his desire. Nothing is impossible to the person who backs desire with enduring faith. Napoleon Hill Nothing stops the man who desires to achieve. Every obstacle is simply a course to develop his achievement muscle. It's a strengthening of his powers of accomplishment. Eric Butterworth Nothing worthwhile in life was ever achieved without a compelling reason to achieve it. Zig Ziglar Our world progresses because we all desire a better life. Robert Kiyosaki Our world progresses because we all desire a better life. Plant the seed of desire in your mind and it forms a nucleus with the power to attract itself everything needed for its fulfillment. Robert Collier Preceding accomplishment must be desire. The desires must be strong and definite. General desires are but weak longings. For a man to wish to be rich is of little purpose. George Clayson Realize what you really want. It stops you from chasing butterflies and puts you to work digging gold. 
The desire that guides me in all I do is a desire to harness the forces of nature to the service of mankind. Nikola Tesla The key to manifesting your desires is to assume that your desire is already being experienced, that you already have it and are enjoying it. In this way, you set up a level of vibration that can only attract its material equivalent. Esther and Jerry Hicks The only thing keeping you from what you want is the story you have about why you can't have it. Anthony Robbins The secret of turning desires into reality is to write them down. You must be specific about what you want and when exactly you would like to achieve it. Because the fuel of the imagination is detail. The fuel of the imagination is detail. Catherine Ponder The starting point of all achievement is desire. Keep this constantly in mind. Weak desires bring weak results. Just a small amount of fire makes a small amount of heat. Napoleon Hill They leave their desires vague and so they get vague outcomes. Claude M. Bristol we all want the same things, but with different intensity, such as security, comfort, leisure, love, respect, and fulfillment. Brian Tracy What you do as a human being is primarily driven by your need to avoid pain and your desire for pleasure. Anthony Robbins When the why gets stronger, the how gets easier. Jim Ron. When you become certain that nothing is impossible for you, you will attain everything you desire. Wayne Dyer when you desire wisdom with the same intensity that you desire to breathe, then nothing will stop you from getting it. It's the same with your goals. Socrates. When you know what you want and you want it bad enough, you will find a way to get it. Jim Ron. Without a sense of urgency, desire loses its value. Without an all-consuming desire, nothing can be achieved or gained. Cord and Bristol. You only need two things to be successful. First, decide exactly what it is you want. Most people never do that. Second, Determine the price you're going to have to pay to get it, and then resolve to pay that price. H.L. Hunt Your desire is the motor power which will move you in the direction of your dream, and expectation is the attractive force that will move your dream into your direction. Bob Proctor And last, your river will become your burning desire in life, and it will find you with the energy and enthusiasm. Earl Nightingale and that's a wrap on Chapter 3, Desire, 50 Words to Your Dreams by Michael George Knight. Let me know your thoughts on Chapter 3, and for personal and free one-on-one -on -one coaching, connect with me at coaching at bestbookbits.com. For hundreds of video, written, and audio book summaries, check out our website, bestbookbits.com, and stay tuned for Chapter 4 in the series, Purpose. Thanks for watching and listening, and have yourself an amazing day. Take care.